started when Barry Hall had the ball. 44,000 were treated to a nail-biter against Collingwood when we ventured to Telstra Stadium in round 13. They watched the magic of Paul Williams as he amassed 25 possessions against his old side. 17 points up at the last change, it was left to the defenders to hold tight. The Swans home by a point. Forced to kick to a contest, inside 50. Ball at the back of the pack, snared by Davis. Left foot kick, it's not bad! Did Cohen get a finger on it? did it! Big goal to start this game from the former Magpie. Kicking at the only place he could. Cloak and Jolly, and again Cloak uses the boot. Williams though, saw it coming. That's reading the ball. And Matthews, the skipper, can line them up from plumb in front. His team need it. This is a moment for him. Not a big goal kicker. But he kicks this. And the Swans are within a couple of points. Ball against Fanning. Swan. Ambitious handball is intercepted by Keith. Good little smother by Didak. Still Swans in possession. O'Keefe has another crack at it. Here's a chance for O'Loughlin. Now the umpire's got it going. Conversion rate of 69%. This is for goal number 25 for the season. Late in the second term. And the modern tradition of tight Collingwood Sydney games lives on. Here's O'Keefe. Too far out. Now Hall. Low Lachlan there as well. A lot of pushing and shoving. And Hall comes out of it. Or I love them with the free kick. Against the Clement. Hmm. So much contact permitted, it's very hard to know where the line should be drawn. O'Loughlin restores the lead for Sydney. And it's uh, that sort of a game. Three quick goals by Sydney could be enough to wrap the game up. Really, they should have had one there. Hall's miss was a bad one. They should get it here. Adam Goods makes no mistake. Not quite, but he gathers possession to Holland, to Prestigiacobo. Presti has another crack at it. Lecuria wins the hard ball. Got it to Fanning, squeezes the kick, but only as far as Jason Saddington. That's a good ball for Goods. Sets him up. He's an athlete. Just can't break, but it's one-on-one -on -one in the 50. And Nick Davis. And a chance now to put the Swans two goals in front. Noted goal kicker. And there's no doubt about that. Goes to Swan. Buckley still steaming. Mm, I think he might have good reason too, Tim. We'll have a look at it in a minute. Just been watching Travis Cloak, and I think this ball will go to him. Swan he, didn't make good contact there. Yeah, Travis Cloak just gets a bit lost out of half forward. He doesn't know where to position himself. It will come. <laughs> Lovely delivery from Craig Bolton. By Lachlan. Gives this elevation. Hall and Preston Giacomo, and that's a fine grab. Now Hall has kicked just one after a good start to the night. He has his second. The Swans have the break. Big goals. Got a couple. Set that one up with Adam Goods with the handball. And he's winning. His, his tackles in the forward line have been the best that I've seen him uh, put on. I, I reckon he's changed his game right around. In stark contrast, the last time we saw him play lasted... Three seconds. Swans work it forward. Malczewski. Beautiful pass. O'Keefe for his first. It's home. Play on now. Advantage. Williams dangerous. Hall dangerous. Oh, he needed to get it back to Williams. A rare mistake from Hall. And the Magpies prize it away. Good work by Maxwell. Loney. Good's got him. Great tackle. Now, advantage initially called and then a change of mind. Goods, the recipient of the free. That's a good placement Ooh. for Hall. Burns and Davis off the ball going at it. And Hall has given Sydney a 22-point break. Very crowded at the Ruckman's feet. Kirk, suddenly he's excelling. Good placement. And Lachlan couldn't hang on. O'Keefe. Maxwell desperately, dangerously. O'Loughlin 
just about steamrolled. A ball up. Good tackle. Tackle, Nick. It's tense. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, mate. Down it goes. Hall will contest this one. Taps it towards O'Loughlin. Got the left foot kick into the goal square. Goods is there. Back with the flight of the ball. Goods off the ground. Goal! Swans by nine. Plenty of time left. O'Keefe. Good hands. G's been good overhead. The Swans by two points. There can't be too many seconds left. They gain territory, but go to a contest. Hall and Preston Giacomo. Deliberate. A Collingwood ball. That's a controversial decision. Magpies might just have time. Buckley into the middle with Tarrant. He's got Wakeland wide, and that's where he goes. One last roll of the dice, you reckon, for Collingwood. Wakeland has one bounce. Carousella wants it long. Wakeland goes short to Loney. Loney back to Wakeham. He's got a load up long now. He goes for the pass. Carousella, too much on it. Dynak off the ground. It's rolling, oh. it's rolling, it's a point. It's a point, the difference. Sydney in front. Oh, he just got that too sweetly. Now, if the umpire sees what we can see, he'll have to come off. He was nudging it clear. He got too much of it. And it went all the way. Heartbreaking gut-wrenching and perhaps season-ending the swans by a point possession now surely is the order of the day and Canelli screaming at his teammates to get across to the one side of the ground and about six Sydney players are pushing across umpire win telling Buchanan he has to get rid of the ball Collingwood manning up well there's no short option seconds Ebbing away. I just thought it was a really, you know, it's hard when you're coaching to worry about whether it's a good game or a bad game, but I thought they were played at a very high standard and we played at a very high standard at times. Um, and it was probably, is a little unusual when you get two teams, um, you know, playing very well for the majority of the game, you know, which I think happened tonight, you know. Um, so it was a credit to both footy teams and we just happened to be the ones that were one point ahead um, when the siren sounded. All with three, Williams, Kirk and Goods the very best.